Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time Jesse here arrived at the Bureau of Control and began exploring the oldest house. It's really one-to-one -one with my camera movements, which makes me feel like it's going to be really jerky since I tend to twitch my hand a lot. Maybe let's turn the sensitivity down. Right, I tried that already. I have no clearance because I do not actually work here. Which gives me the really unfortunate thought that the reason all these doors have been opening is because the building wants me in here. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside of the building. Altered item feels like it's going to be a very important phrase. Trench, do not disturb. Uh, Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Okay, so I guess... Court <sighs> okay, I don't like that. Those are these weird fat trees, anyway. I mean, I'm pretty sure those aren't artifacts, or they wouldn't be sitting out here in the open. I'm just saying. That's an elaborate setup. Office of the Director, Zachariah Trench. Shit. So that shit, already happened. Shit, shit. It's a uh, shift sprint. The murder weapon? Really? Oh. Oh no. Something's already Something's outside. Oh, was coming here a mistake. I don't know what the shimmer is, but it's guiding me. And I don't like that. It's not a window. What the fuck is that? Oh, dear God. Well, rest in peace, Zachariah. What is with all the cigarettes lying around? All right, I'll take the murder weapon. Funny-looking gun. The weapon, then. Oh, okay. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of oh. AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. It's Alan Wake's voice actor. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Okay, this is happening. So I have to prove myself worthy to wield this gun, and the old director wasn't. That's what I'm getting from this. The board is not even remotely human, is it? That's just what they call it. So they feel less weird talking about it. I can't make out a single thing it's saying outside of the subtitles, and I'm not sure I'm not I'm supposed to be able to. A lot of V shapes. Even the icon on the desktop is a V shape. 
Oh, oh. Oh, all right. Oh, that was not a punch. I don't like that it leaves little glowing dots behind. Or the part where it just exploded into ashes, like it was never solid to begin with. Uh, okay, this is impossible. Ah, what the hell. The same gun. So this is the service weapon. There's not actually a hole in the end. What the fuck? Oh shit, I missed the achievements earlier tonight. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now I have a gun. Achievement unlocked. Choose to be chosen. Obtain the service weapon. What was the other one? What? I thought there was another one that showed up. Okay. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. Wouldn't be the first time this week I've thought that. Re super liminal. Can I reload? No, it'll reload for me. Hitting R doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, hitting R switches shoulders. The surface weapon regenerates ammo automatically when not in use. What a weird thing that is. It's like it's like the concept of a gun. I get it. You know, the the, the gun slash sword slash intentionally left blank. It's whatever weapon the person holding it. You know, considers a personal si personal weapon. I get the feeling this thing is a lot older than the invention of the gun. Do headshots cause more damage? No, not really. hits the floor. It never hits the walls. It's really interesting to me. Oh, shit! That one's armed! Enemies interrupt health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore health. Kinda hard to miss. Okay. You, we wield the gun, you. The board appoints you. Congratulations, Director. Something's coming. Oh, that's what that was. This threat. An attack. Duty as Director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? No. Big pencil sharpener, especially given that they don't allow pencils here. Ooh. Alright, I appreciate that. It, it points the way the camera's pointing, not Jesse's body. <laughs> Christ. None of this means anything to me. Wait, that's a... 
right? I suppose that wasn't the most, you know, constructive way to do that. I'll come back later. Fuck. Okay, we are going to go outside and we are going to deal with that. What? That's a picture of me. Why is there a picture of me? Okay, it hasn't changed the other ones, but was this one already here? The next time I come back to this room, will it have replaced all of the junk with uh, stuff of personal importance to Jesse? Oh, sorry. Wow, oh, the fabric folded. You never see that in video games. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's do this. Uh, hi! Uh, I guess I'm... Director Faden? I can't see the sign, so I don't know if they changed it yet. You can't let this happen. 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 You can't let this happen! You stopped it. <laughs> you... Oh, thank you. That was... Insane? Horror. Oh. Fuck away. Don't do it! Don't you fucking do it! Well, that just fucking happened. What is that attack even supposed to be? I'm just obliterating everything on the floor in front of me. It really is like ashes. It's like she sent out a shockwave made of ashes. I was really, really hoping it would be adjusted for my name. I wonder if they spelt Jesse in the, uh, the dude way? Because they, uh, wanted to give off more of an impression of, uh... Oh, you know, she's like this... Mas more masculine action hero style, I don't know. I would also b entirely believe that the uh, writers just didn't know there was a difference, given that it's, uh... Yeah, this is a Finnish dev team. You know, from Finland, I mean. Just make everything worse in there. I guess I have clearance now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I didn't think that would work. But, you know, it made me feel better. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hotline. I don't know why I would be the taking it. Hotline, a... says the dead man. A dude, okay. A dude failed the test. I don't know why I'm taking adv uh, advice from him. Okay. Well. Ah! Hit! No! My organs. In fairness, for all I know, it's only the third gunfight she's ever been in, so, you know. 
control points. Oh boy. Very ominous name to give a game about trying to contain uh trying to contain, you know, supernatural artifacts given that uh nice. Fuck me. Oh, fuck! Director Jesse Faden. It's not even how she's wearing her hair right now. It is changing some of the stuff, then. I guess humans must have made that part. Well-made mug. Guided into the building with a janitor, Ati, Jesse finds Zachariah Trench, the director of the Bureau, shot dead. She picks up the pistol next to the body and is translocated to the astral plane. The strange board encourages her to bind the gun, an object of power called the service weapon. She succeeds, and the board informs her that she is now the director. Service weapon. OOP1-KE. Containment procedure, no unique procedure is required. Uh, description, para-utility, the object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians para to... Redacted. The object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of redacted. The object will determine whether redacted. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the uh, redacted, though their criteria is unknown. Uh, the object was discovered inside the oldest house, in the room that is now used as the director's office. The ho popular hypothesis, redacted, from many forms throughout history. Redacted, Mjolnir, Excalibur, Veranastra, all weapons that redacted of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on their collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. What? Wait... If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifest. Is this just like the first object of power? I guess it's just the concept of a weapon manifested. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 .1 for more details. Acquisition date, uh, let's see, April 8th, 1964. Interesting. Multimedia. Oh, cool. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Could Ginger be holding it? Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose, and you're well. Fine. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Invenio Investigato. Hmm. Huh. Yes, uh, Alan Wake was depicted by two different actors. There was a, a Finnish actor named Ilka Vili who, uh, who uh, provided the, the likeness of Alan Wake, the face and the body. And uh, there was uh, that actor there, whose name, I believe, is Matthew something? It's been a while, I didn't look it up or anything. Uh, who provided the voice. You know, since they didn't want Alan Wake to have a very strong Finnish accent. Director Trench photograph. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. Zachariah Trench. His guard. Okay. Compiled by Emily Pope, research specialist. By order of director Jesse Faden. 
It just knew, they just knew I needed this. Sure. Field research on Hiss Entity. Hiss Corrupted Security Guard. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Okay. Hiss guards use the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. They have not observed. Uh, sorry, they have no observed paranatural activities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged Hiss corruption? Does the Hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the Hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it, utili does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited for? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer, refer to file redacted for full report. I'm the goddamn director! Why is anything redacted for me? No, you know what? I don't want to know the answer to that question. It's probably really, really horrifying. But once again, I'm back here, and the uh, episode has come to an end. So I'm just going to stand here admiring my own portrait for a while, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control. Later.